So here it is guys, the Traveling Tackle Bag. Now if you're not familiar with the Traveling Tackle Bag, it was started by Larry over at Show Me Creeks. And the point of the Traveling Tackle Bag is to take this out and fish with just what is in here. You can't bring your own stuff. Then when you're all done, you throw some, you know, some tackle in there and then send it off to the next guy. So like I was saying, Larry started it over at Show Me Creeks. He sent it over to Greg at Puddle Walkers Outdoors. Greg sent it over to Straight to the Point Straight to the point, then sent it over to Chris over at Bogley's Keeping It Real. He then sent it to Trey at Fish Smack. Trey sent it to James over at Crankin' and Yankin'. James sent it to Buck at Bayou Buck. And then Buck sent it to Joe at Parabellum Fishing. And Joe sent it to me. So it's here now. I'm excited to fish with it. I'm not going to look in it. Um, I want to kind of surprise myself. You know, when Joe had it, Joe tried to get some Florida exotics like the snakehead. Uh, the peacock bass, the tilapia, the Mayan cichlid, and Joe didn't get the peacock, so my mission is clear. I have got to catch a peacock bass with this guy, so that's what I'm going to do. Not going to look in it. I have an idea of what's in there because I've seen everybody's video, so I have an idea of what's in here, but I'm going to surprise myself when I get out on the water. I'm not going to tie anything on my rods or reels. I'm just going to take this out, tie up while I'm out there, so let's go ahead. Let's hit the water. Travel and tackle bag. Mission, peacock bass. Like I was saying, I don't have anything tied on yet. So we're gonna crack this guy open, see what I can use. The mission, like I said, peacock bass. There we go. Zoom fluke. All right, there we go. Got the zoom fluke on. Get him, get him. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> oh, wow. Just a little baby bass. <laughs> okay. Well, I got something with the traveling tackle bag, but I mean, that is a tiny, tiny little bass. <laughs> All right, buddy. Whoa, there we go. There we go. It's just a largey. It's just a largey. Just a largey. Not the peacock I was looking for, but still. Nice bass. And I almost slipped and busted my butt. <laughs> okay. Dirty little largemouth. Well, he's dirty now, but. Okay. So that's two now, two bass. Have not got the peacock yet. We'll get there, we'll get there. One peacock's chasing off this bass over here. I am bound and determined to catch one on this zoom fluke like this. Because I don't know if there's really anything else in there. the fluke go I'm gonna create a little bit lower profile yeah I know this might be weird but I'm gonna cut this guy in half I'm gonna take the hook we'll see if that works a little lower profile. Sometimes with these peacocks, a little bit more lower profile of a bait will help. He came after it. Oh, had him hooked. Had him hooked, it was a little one.
There we go. Yeah. Nice. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I knew I'd eventually get him. All right, guys. Well, there it is. Peacock bass, traveling tackle bag, mission accomplished. He's little, but still got the peacock. Love these fish. All right, buddy, get back on your bed. How crazy was that? What I did was went to a little bit lower profile of a bait. Nobody said you couldn't modify them. I think Buck did that. So I cut it in half, just a little tail, hook, threw it out there, he got it. Okay guys, here we are at spot number two. Now I'm gonna bust open the traveling tackle bag and see what I could use here. Uh oh, some bruiser sticks. Let's go Texas rig waitlist for right now. And I do want to thank, I think it was Joe for putting in some terminal tackle. Because had he not done that, I don't know if I'd be able to uh to fish this thing. Well at least get the peacock on it. You guys obviously recognize this spot if you spent any time on the channel. And I do know that these stick baits work well here. There we go. Got one on the bruiser stick. I gotta tell you, these six cents hooks are stout. Very good. I like them. Might have to venture into buying some. Okay, that's fish number four so far with the uh, traveling tackle bag. Here we go. Nice fish. Yeah, nice fish. Come here. Come here. You done? Beauty. Look at that, guys. On the bruiser stick. Maybe three pounds? All right. He choked the hook. I'll try and get it out of him. All right. Got the hook out. Cut the line. And get it back in the water just for a second. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Almost lost her. Almost lost her. Okay. I do want to get a weight on it. So let's get a weight on it. All right. Get the scale out. Turn it on. Okay, let's see. Three pounds, three ounces. Cool. That is the second three pounder I've pulled out of this lake on a stick bait. Nice fish. I like it. Good fight. Okay. There she goes. So I was gonna retie and I noticed something. This little guy. I don't know if you guys remember the creek pack challenge that I did. The lip broke on this. So, my wife just texted me. I only got about another half hour before I got to go. So, instead of tying the Cinco back on or the stick bait, 
We're gonna see if I can't actually complete the Rebel Creek Pack Challenge. <laughs> My old nemesis. About 30. 15 minutes maybe, because I got about 15 minute drive home. Oh, 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 there he was there. He was there. <laughs> I think I'm going to run out of time, guys. I think I'm going to run out of time. Yep, I think I'm going to run out of time. Five minutes. Tops. Just fish it back. Something's got to hit this. Come on. A blind bass, a cichlid, something. Yeah, I think I'm going to run out of time here, guys. Wish I would have discovered it sooner. Yes, yes, that's a good fish too. Oh no, he came off. Oh. Unreal, unreal. I'm out of time now. So we're gonna take this thing back to the house and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to put in it and let you guys know who I'm giving it to next. And man, I feel defeated. I really hate this thing. I really do. <laughs> it was a lot of fun though. I mean, it was a lot of fun fishing out of the traveling tackle bag. So Joe, I want to thank you for including me in the challenge and Larry over at Show Me Creeks. I want to thank you for starting the challenge, but uh, it's my turn to throw some stuff in here. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what I'm putting in and let you guys know who I'm giving it to next. So um, you guys know or may not know, I'm a team member with Bruiser Baits. So I've made a Bruiser Baits care pack and I've stuffed this thing with a whole bunch of stuff. Stick worms, super swimmer, slimmer swimmer, mac daddy craw, crazy craw, big nasty worm, 10 inch worm, whole bunch of stuff is in this guy. So hopefully somebody gets some use out of that. I've got, uh, since I fish with a zoom fluke, I'm gonna throw in some more zoom flukes. And this is the Arkansas shad color. So I'm gonna toss those in there. I've got the KVD rodent and green pumpkin, gonna put that in there. Little topwater frog action, so that's gonna go in the bag. Uh, little rage Ned, and uh, I cracked this open, and I put in little Ned head to go in there, so that's ready to rock and roll for the next guy, or girl. And I've got some more terminal tackle, because there's just not a lot of terminal tackle in the bag, so these are 3-0. Um, the stuff that's in there right now is 4.0, so these are 3.0 worm hooks and 3.0 EWGs. Um, and then I'm going to put in a quarter ounce rooster tail. There is a, um, a 16th ounce rooster tail in there, but uh, I'm going to throw in a quarter ounce for the next person. So uh, that's everything I'm putting in the bag. Um, again, this was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So um, who am I going to give it to next? Well, I think the bag needs to stay in Florida one more trip. So I am going to drive this thing up to John and Lindia at Smallwater Charters. I'm going to give it to them, and I want to see what they're going to do with it. So this thing's going to Chobie, and maybe, just maybe, it'll make its way over to Headwaters or Donkey Land. I don't know what they're going to do with it. Um, we'll see, but I want to give this to John and Lindia over at Smallwater Charters and see if they can pull uh, uh, an even bigger fish than the one I got today. So that's where it's going. Appreciate you guys watching really, really had fun doing this. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and make sure you check out all the other videos from the Traveling Tackle Bag. I'm going to link those down below. Catch you guys in the next one.